All right, this truck is clean on the top and rusty on the bottom. So we're going to try out some of this Iron Armor Rust Reformer. It's five bucks from Harbor Freight Tools. And basically it converts rusty metal into a primer. So you just wash it, sand the chunks off, and then paint it with this. You don't have to sand the rust all the way off. This stuff supposedly bonds with the rust and converts it into a primer. I was using a paint-on version of this, the Coro Seal, for a lot of the bottom of the truck, but I'm just tired and old and I don't like being under my truck, so this way I'm just going to spray the hell out of it. It goes on clear, so if it's not in contact with rust, it'll stay clear, and if it is in contact with rust, it'll turn black. I'm not too worried about overspray, like it coming out and getting on the rest of my truck because it's going to be clear if it does, and I don't think too much of it's going to get out from under the truck anyway. All right, here's the before picture. I did some of it already with the Corrosil brush on, and then I realized it'd be just too much work to do with the brush, so you can see how rusty it is. So that's the before. This is right where you're hanging the spare tire on the back of the truck. Uh, if I was a drug dealer or smuggler, you can fit so much stuff inside of your spare tire, but anyway... Uh, Kids, if you become future drug dealers and smugglers, that is the place to hide stuff. But I imagine if you become future drug enforcement agents, that is the place that people look first when they're looking for drugs and stuff. So we're going to do that. Even the the uh, welds on the galvanized steel are starting to go. So what I'm going to do is just spray the hell out of it, and then we'll show you the after picture. All right, here's the after picture a day later. So you can see it went on, and it turned things black, but... Uh, there's still some rusty spots, you know, spots where it's kind of black, but also still kind of rusty. I used three cans and, uh, you know, I think it works, but you need to use a whole lot of it. And in a situation and there, you can see on the, on the leaf springs, I painted it on there to see if I could turn them black again. And they're kind of half black and then they've got some, some rusty spots. So I think with something that's as rusted out as this thing is, and with as much surface area, you would spend a whole lot of money on those cans of paint. You'd have to do five coats versus um, the stuff that I've used on other parts of the truck, which is Corrosil from Home Depot. You paint it on with a brush and you just, you know, nothing against the, uh, the spray paint stuff, but this stuff, just because you paint it on with a brush, you can put on a super thick coat and really do a lot more than you can with a can of spray paint. With spray paint, you just have to keep spraying over and over and over. So I thought it'd be easier, but I ended up spending more time down here and breathing fumes and spraying and spraying and spraying again, and then I ran out. So there you go. Then I think a step further would be once you've put the, put the primer, whatever kind of primer you choose on the rust, after that, get some pickup truck bed liner with a brush or maybe the spray on pickup truck bed liner, and then paint that over this. And that then will be rust proof until long after you're dead. That stuff is tough. 